Bow Yakasha. Today, I'm wearing my One Love uh, top. There you go. Um, blessings to you in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Um, I hope you're all well, as usual. You know, if you're not, we can certainly pray for you. And um, today, um, I just saw a flerf video, and um, the flerfs have made their way <coughs> to the past the ice wall. Now they haven't actually hacked through it. Um, Papa Smurf hasn't given them the tools <coughs> to do that. But what they have done very wisely is um, contacted somebody that has a plane and just flew right over that ice wall and um, camped out for 50 hours and dug a big hole uh, in the South Pole. So they've, they've did the impossible. The, the flerfs have basically gone against their their entire belief set and um, they've been able to not penetrate the ice wall, just fly over it. Somebody had that bright idea, obviously, they just up all night praying in flare flying region and uh, yeah, they got that revelation. But that big strobe in the sky just wouldn't go away. You know that um, in the mythical spherical earth, as we see right here, this is a spherical earth. And um, if you can imagine the sun, or sorry, the spinning ball earth, as they say, there, here it is right here. Right? And so the sun's here, and uh, obviously it sets when the spinning ball, when this area, this is South America, so when it goes here, it's dark, right? There's no sun. And then when it comes back around, it's morning. It's afternoon, there we go, and that's Africa, and then we go, there we go, it's South America there, so it's daytime again, but if you're in the South Pole, um, then it's, I believe, the uh, winter solstice, the sun never sets, and if you're in the summer solstice in the North Pole, also the sun doesn't set, why is that? Because, obviously... The sun's here all the time, oh sorry, let's say the sun is like here all the time, and you can imagine if you're staying down here, it's just never going to go away. That's just one of the reasons that, you know, I'm not a flerf, because I, I do of course believe in the spherical earth, because everything that's observed in the universe is spherical, just, just everything. Um, but anyhow, maybe I'm a pagan, maybe I'm like a paid shell or something. <laughs> and um, one of the other channels that, of course, I've been watching, and I hope you can check out my artwork there, just behind me. And I'll be doing more artwork. I'll be doing some Jesus artwork, which will be pretty cool. I'll let you see that as well. Um, one of the other channels I'm watching is the Master's Voice, and I saw a huge prophecy last night about, um, God is going to judge the Yehudim, and, um, I'm going to join a bunch of, the other bunch of men that are on YouTube, like, just laughing at this woman and, you know, making fun of her and stuff, I'm not going to do that. Because I actually believe, without a doubt, there is a, a spirit talking to her. And I do, I do actually believe, I do regard it to be the Holy Spirit. But I'm not saying she's 100% um, infallible. I'm not saying that for a second because I checked out some of her prophecies. I've just started watching her videos last week and... Um, yeah, Celeste was saying that, uh, in fact, the Earth, as we see it here, spherical Earth, 
is in fact like a basketball that's been burst. And um, she went into some sort of description of this burst basketball. And um, she was trying to say it was a flat earth or something. Why not just say it's a sphere, but anyhow, it's a basketball according to according to the, the woman of God. I'm, I'm not mocking her, by the way. I'm not mocking her. Um, I do believe that... Um, I actually greatly admire her for the the prophecies and the visions and everything that she is having and that she's she's writing them down, she's doing videos. I don't know if she's doing any appointments in churches. I know she, she must be in America or Canada, at least there's North America she seems to be. So my respect is there for the way she's laid out things, the way she speaks about things is is excellent, I must say. But in this regard, regarding the flat earth issue, she seems to be a flerf. And um, what she's saying is that it's also she's had prophecies about the Russians having anti-gravity. So I know that a lot of flerfs don't believe in gravity because you don't need gravity if you're staying on a flat earth plane. Because it's they explain it with some other way. But she is actually saying that in the flat earth there is actually gravity as well, just like there is in the spherical earth. So, I don't know. I mean, um, I'm not I'm not a flat earther, but if I, if I was, I guess some of the stuff she was saying might make a little bit more sense at least. And she doesn't go into detail, of course, about the North Star and about you know, the water going down the drain in a different rotation than the North and South Pole, you know, all these sort of irrefutable things in science, you could call them observable things that, um, you know, cause people to say, well, just not enough evidence of a flat earth, even if anybody can get up there past that glass dome. And uh, apparently there has been people up there because, <clears throat> you know, in the anti-gravity ships, and that's, I think, as far as I'm aware, Celeste talks about that as well, she's, she's aware of the, those things, that the, the creatures are regarding the fallen angels, the Nephilim, nine, eight, nine, ten foot creatures which have been seen in California, they've been seen in Florida, on the street, in people's backyards, as we know the past year this has been going on. <clears throat> and uh, the entrances into the hollow earth as well, which are located in, in the South Pole, North Pole, and other areas in the earth, which people have made videos about. And again, it doesn't need to be um, a spherical earth for that to happen. You can still have entrances going inside the flat earth, but it, it, it just seems that that mythical ice wall, they, they no longer can say that um, no one can penetrate that anymore. No one can get past there. And so it gives credence to Admiral Byrd's testimony about the creatures dwelling inside the hollow earth where they have cities and um, saying that they're monitoring human beings and they have these anti-gravity ships which they're able to... which apparently the Nazis were in um, agreement or some kind of covenant with which Hitler admittedly said that he was many times. And people just dismissed him as a maniac. But you know, regardless of what he did to the Jews, which obviously is not good <coughs> at all, um, what Celeste was saying the other night is that the Lord is going to go after the higher echelons or the Luciferians within that people group and are going to expose them. It's a very powerful prophecy that she gave. I'm not going to discredit her because I think she's spoken a lot of things that many other men and women of God have been saying for the past hundred years. It's just that the Lord's given his own um, angle or interpretation to this to this woman of God. I'm going to call her that until, until she's proven otherwise. Again, she's not infallible. You know, um, because she's a flerf doesn't make her a false prophetess, even though 
you know that I'm a I'm a spherical author, um, because I can I can prove it more with the Bible and with observ observable techniques. You may call that real science. <clears throat> but anyway, um, yeah, I don't mean to fall out with anyone. Um, I don't use this um, shape of the Earth to basically cause division within the church. But you know, I really do think that the flat earthers do cause division with regards to this issue. And uh, that's why the God is not pleased with them, I believe. It's not pleased with them. People are kind of their opinions about it or they kind of dreams about it or whoever voice they're listening to, prophets, prophetesses, if uh, it's a half a basketball or whatever. But if it's a half basketball, it still looks to me like some kind of half sphere then. I know that some people on here believe in concave earth. In other words, the earth is sort of the opposite way from a half sphere or sphere. So again, there's all these kind of theories that go on. Like a bird bath. <laughs> Anyhow, we should not allow, allow uh, these issues to uh, divide the church, to divide the body of Christ, because they are not important. They are not salvation issues. And yet, these people tend to make them salvation issues. And guess what spirit that comes from? And again, I'm not going to knock Celeste because I don't. Uh, I believe a lot of the things she says. I think she's got like a 90%, um, I would say, correct rate. And so just for me to dismiss her would actually, would actually attack me because a lot of the thing, things I believe are um, going to happen. You know, God is not completely in any religious movement. There is going to be a one world religion, one world government, most likely 100% based in Jerusalem and Israel. So that's what we're all expecting to happen. It's not going to be completely be Zionist. It's not going to completely be Muslim or Christian. It's going to be a mix. Hallelujah. So thank you for listening, guys. Talk to you soon.